For nearly a century, doctors believed a blocked heart artery meant instant death. No survival, no second chances. They were wrong, and that mistake cost millions of lives. Because science's greatest enemy isn't ignorance, it's certainty. In the 1880s, a German pathologist named Julius Kohnheim ran dog experiments. He tied off their heart arteries, and they died within minutes. So he declared, a coronary blockage kills you in minutes. That belief became gospel. Textbooks repeated it. Medical schools taught it. If you had a heart attack, you were simply written off as dead. Then came Dr. James Herrick of Chicago. In 1912, he saw patients with chest pain who didn't die. They lived for days, even weeks. He published his findings. Proof that blocked arteries could heal, that collateral vessels could grow. The response? Laughter. Rejection. His paper, he said, fell like a dud. Because he didn't just challenge biology, he challenged belief. It took 70 more years for another heretic to finish the job. In 1980, Dr. Marcus DeWood took heart attack patients straight to angiograms and found 87% had fresh clots blocking their arteries. When the clots were dissolved, people lived. From that day forward, heart attacks weren't death sentences. They were treatable crises. Survival rates soared from 60% to over 90%. It took 140 years to see what was hiding in plain sight. The body isn't fragile. It fights to live. The real killer wasn't the heart. It was our refusal to question what we thought we knew. Don't forget to like, share, and follow for more true stories that expose how science evolves, one shattered belief at a time.